Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be trying the slow set. So basically I've been sent this, so I'm gonna give them a whirl today. Um, I've used their speedy set before, so I'm gonna see how this works. So today's job is I've got three walls just to put on. So I've got normal stud wall, and I've got two walls that I've just unibonded. So they're all good to go. Um, they've been PVA'd now, so I'm now ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two sachets in a big tub like this. So the first thing you do is you fill it with your water and you wanna put your sachets in first before putting any skim in. Give it a mix round and then you're good to go. Right, so that's the first two bags mixed. So it's now 10 to 11 now. So I'm gonna start chucking it on. Right, so that's the first bucket on. So two bags has got me that far so far. It's all staying nicely to be fair. So there's no stress here. So I'm gonna mix another one in a minute. I'm just gonna put my speed skim over this. Right, some of you might find it weird what I've just done, but what I've basically done is I've put my first coat on and then I've put my speed skim over it all and then I've just gone over, chest checked over it with um, my trowel basically because sometimes, because it's a straight edge, it can show where there's a few little dips and stuff. So you want to make your first coat as good as possible so that when um, you're mixing, you're not going to get caught out later on. You don't have to do it, it's just something that since I've got a little bit extra time today, I want to get my first coat spot on straight away. Time check now is 20 past 11. So I've just mixed my second bucket. I put the same amount in again. I've just put one sachet for one bag of board finish. Um, I'm now just going to put a tiny bit over there that I didn't have enough for and I'm going to start doing the tops and then I'll put the um, second coat on with the same stuff because uh, I like it all to be in the same mix basically. First coat's all on now. I'm gonna brush all the edges of the ceiling now. But yeah, it's going really well. Um, it's pulled in a few little tiny places, but that's to be expected. But um, yeah, it's holding up pretty nice. Right, I think it's 20 to 12 now. So the first coat's all nice and flat. Um, I always like to give my first coat a flatten so that my second coat's even easier to put on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my second coat on now. I'm going to be using the same stuff. It's still nice and pliable. So uh, I'm going to start putting my second coat on now and then uh, just trial as normal.
So that's the first trial done. Um, it's hanging on nicely there. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a bit of time now. I'm gonna have a quick bit of dinner. So that took about four hours to complete and the low set really did um, help along with that one. It just uh, took all the stress out of the work. So if you are looking to maybe learn how to do bigger areas and you want that little bit extra time so you feel a bit more comfortable, it's definitely worth using. Um, if you want to put on a bigger gauge, it's definitely worth using. Yeah, uh, I'm really happy. It worked exactly as I expected it to. and. Uh, I'm now off home so thank you very much guys for watching if you do like these videos please like and subscribe I drop these videos every Tuesday and I'm really close to a thousand subscribers now I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed so far and if you haven't give it a little thought I'd really appreciate it if you did um, so thank you very much for watching guys catch you on the next video